Hello and welcome to Adelux for this new Lutron tutorial where I will share with you my experience as an independent Lutron programmer. The subject of today is address to Lutron programmers who start with Lutron Regura 2 system, specifically if they want to set up a Lutron Connect app using the Lutron Connect bridge for the very first time. To do so, I will quickly review how I add and set up the equipment inside the Regura 2 software how I install and register with the Lutron Connect app, followed by a quick and basic review of the app itself. This will highlight the various steps and should get you started. So without further ado, let's do it. First, just a quick word on the Lutron Radio RAT 2 system, also called RAT 2. This is a Lutron lighting control system that mainly communicate wirelessly with other Lutron devices such as Lutron dimmers, Lutron wireless keypads and Lutron sensors. At Adelux, we very often use RA2 system on Lutron blinds only application because it gives the clients some more advanced features such as operating the blinds automatically at specific time. So for example, if the clients want to open the curtains in the morning or close the blinds at sunset automatically. Also, RA2 allows you to control the system using the Lutron Connect app so we can operate the blinds from our phones or tablets. This is my current setup. I have a Lutron QS blind. On this particular demo, I will only use the drive that is the motor that goes inside the tube to operate the roller blinds. I have a Lutron Pico controller, which is a remote control, and I have a Lutron Regera 2 main repeater, which is the brain of the system and hosts the Lutron program. It can also be connected to third-party devices if you need to integrate the blinds with other control equipment. Finally, to be able to use a Lutron Connect app, I need to have a Lutron Connect bridge. The Lutron Connect bridge will allow me to operate my blinds on my RATU system using the app inside the house via the Wi-Fi signal, but more importantly, the app will allow me to operate and monitor the Lutron system from outside the house via mobile phone services. Also, the Lutron Connect bridge is the piece of equipment that will allow me to integrate with current mainstream home automation systems and services. So I will need the bridge if I want to integrate my RATU system with Sonos for audio control, Nest and Honeywell to integrate thermostats, Amazon Alexa and Google Home for voice control, including Siri and HomeKit for Apple integration. So let's start a new Radio RAT 2 database. And at the time of this recording, I'm using Radio RAT 2 version 12.0.1. Let's create a new project and because we already know that we want to use the app, let's click on automatically add connect bridge. This can also be added later if you're upgrading an existing installation, for example. Let's quickly follow the project setup guide and in step one, let's select the location of the project. This will help with the time clock operation. In step two, I will enter the installer and client information. This is mainly to keep in touch. I will also give the project a name, which will be shown on the Lutron app. And for the preferred color in step three, I will keep it to the default. And in step four, I will only select living room and click on finish. Same as the Lutron Homeworks QS, the way to build the database in RA2 is to complete each tab from the left to the right, starting with design, then program, followed by activate, and to finish, transfer. So here, in the design tab, in the equipment room, we can see that we already have the main repeater and the connect bridge. So the first thing I'll do here will be to find those devices by clicking on those buttons for each device respectively. So without going in depth on why and how setting up IP addresses, for this particular case, we just need to remember that both my main repeater and connect bridge are wired back to my router and that my computer is also connected to my router using the Wi-Fi signal. So let's start with the main repeater and here click on refresh for the system to find it on a network. When it's found, make sure to disable the HCP as advice when using mobile application. Then, save and close. Find connect bridge. 
Here, I will have to press the button at the back of the device to make it discoverable, which I do right now. Okay, good. We have one connect bridge found. Again here, I will disable GACP and save and close. Back on the design tab, we can see that we have a serial number and IP addresses for both devices, which means that they've been found. So, so far, so good. Next, I will go in the living room and quickly add a blind and a Pico controller. Next, I'll move up to the next tab called Program and quickly program the Pico controller to operate the blind. So the open button fully opens the blind, the close button closes it and the favorite button set the blind at 50%. Also, I make sure that the option stop shade if moving is ticked because I really like this option as it really helps when clients start using motorized blind for the very first time. Okay, so now I move on to the next tab, activate and click on start activation so I can address the blind and the Pico controller. For the Pico, I just need to press and hold the off or close button, which I do now. Once he finds it, the repeater will make a quick beep and we can see the details of the Pico found. We just need to select the corresponding Pico in the database and click on activate. The controller beeps again. Now, that physical Pico is fully associated with the Pico in that database and whatever I will program on one will be triggered by the other. Next, I will address my blind by selecting the Shade tab. As my drive is pre-2012, I will have to physically press the button on the drive to activate it, which I'll do now. Again, the repeater beeps. I then click on Activate for the corresponding blind in the database. Controller beeps again. And I can see that the system has found the serial number of the blind and the status is good. Final step, I need to transfer the program to the controller. So I click on the transfer tab. Repeater beeps again as it goes out of the activation mode. Then once the button is available, I click on start transfer and the database start transferring to the repeater. Once the transfer is complete, I will quickly test to see if my Pico control my drives as expected. Which it does. Okay, now. The next step is to get the Lutron Connect app running. So let me get it first from the Apple Store. To use the app, you need first to register and create a Lutron account, which is basically your client email address and a password. Once you've done that, you can sign in. Here, the app will now try to connect to my Radio Rat 2 system. And to do so, it will ask me to press the button at the back of the Lutron bridge, which I'm doing right now. Then, once the app established communication with the bridge, it uploads my system configuration. And now the app shows my Radio Rat 2 system. So on the front page, we can find the name of the project. Then under devices, I can quickly identify my roller blind and the Pico remote control that I have previously added to my Radio Rat 2 database. So here, if I select roller blind, it already gives me an update on the current status of the roller blind. In our case here, it's open. So from here, I can use the button on the side to close, lower, raise, and to open the blind. Or I can even use the slider to adjust it to the position I want. I can also select the Pico remote control and simulate a button press on its open, close, favorite and raise and lower buttons. But the very interesting part here is that by clicking on edit, I can modify the programming on any button of the remote control. So let's say that I'm the client and I want to change the favorite button, for example. To do so, I just need to select it. Here, we can see that we are on the favorite button. I can select the equipment I want my Pico to control. And here, the roller blind in a lounge is already selected. Then, I can select the percentage figure on the side. And from there, I can readjust the position of the blind that I want. I can add a delay time if I need to. Then, click Save and Done. I will now close or open my blind, for example, and then test the new favorite settings from the app, but also from the button itself, which shows that my clients can modify the programming at any time, which is great. Under the Schedule tab, this is where my client can view, but also can add new time clock event to operate the blinds based on time of the day.
And if my client want to give the illusion that someone is in the house when she's away by opening and closing the blinds automatically, for example, this is also here that she will select the vacation mode when she leaves the house. By quickly looking at the app settings, we can see that it is from here that I will set up my Radio Rat 2 with the Sonos, for example, for audio control, with Nest and Honeywell to integrate thermostats, Amazon Alexa and Google Home for the voice control, including Siri and HomeKit for Apple integration. There you have it, how to set up the Lutron Connect app with the Lutron Radio Rat 2 system using the Lutron Connect bridge. What specific function your client liked the most? Is there any specific feature you would like us to describe a bit more? In any case, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can be updated when the next video is released. Thank you very much, good luck and talk to you again on the next tutorial.